M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT DX 101D, and we're doing FTA. I'm actually on a Mac PC. I'll put the links in the description for the USB drivers and settings ETC. Uh, I'll just show you my settings now. Now, on the actual radio, I've used FT8 default settings. So I just hold the TX here by clicking that red box. And then we're going to hold down the mode button on the radio. Like so, it needed to stop transmitting. Hold it again. And you'll see that this window comes up and you've got the, the, pre the preset blue is highlighted. If I tap it, it will go gray. So when it's highlighted, the preset settings are in. So if I hold it down, and you'll see that the settings there. So cat RTS is off. Cat rate is three eight four hundred. That's the main. That's the only one. That's the main one, if you ask me. Rear select says USB. It's the USB printer. If you're looking at the radio from the front, it's the top right hand side. It looks like a square printer USB. Uh, I don't think I've changed anything else. RTS. So check it out. All the link. All the. Uh, Pause the video. These are the default settings. So if you if you reset the settings to default, that's what I've put in. And then we'll just go back on the bottom left here. And then just if you want to go back to normal mode, all you need to do is just tap the blue preset and you'll go back to voice mode. Otherwise, no one's going to hear you. So press briefly press the mode button just top right of the screen take away that preset window now regarding my settings on WSJ chats we'll go at the top here you've got your little mount uh, Apple at the top go to WSJTX click preferences and then I'll just show you my preferences here now, I've only actually had one contact I'm not really sure why I've got all these lines coming across my signal coming down now I do right click find a gap uh, just click OK a minute. Right click somewhere here, find a gap, and I right click set RXTX. On the radio, I've set the meters. If you tap the meters, I've set one to be ALC. And at the moment, I'm just using the power here to adjust the ALC, but really, you should go in and adjust the, the mic set, it might gain type settings or USB gain settings uh, that are in the radio. So, anyway, let's. Um, Go back to my settings, file, preferences, call sign, grid, I've got here on the generals tab. I haven't changed anything else. Radio tab, FTDX101D. And very important that after you've downloaded the correct driver that I'll put the link in for you, you choose the right one of these. Now I just chose each one until it worked. When it works, it just goes green here everything goes green and you can control the actual radio which I'll show you in a second the board rate was 38400 otherwise I didn't change anything else audio wise again once you've got the cable connected the correct drivers it will allow you to select USB audio codec which is what I selected top and bottom seems fine to me I haven't touched th this these items underneath I haven't touched click OK and then to test, we click tune here. See the tune, and I'm looking at the ALC meter, trying to keep that quite low. As you can see, once it's quite low, you can stop tuning and go enable TX. Now it's still trying to contact that last guy, so we'll just choose someone else. There's one here, M7, and go enable TX. And it will go into TX. Obviously, there's so much more you can do with this. and the setup is very similar if you're using Windows, sorry, um, yeah, Windows 10 PC 11. I'm just happen to be on a Mac here. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. I think I've, I've remembered all the settings. I'll just show it change of the frequency on the radio. We just go to 40 meters. Let's go to, I mean, 80 meters is going to be quite bad for me, but let's try 20 actually. And look, it's changed the radio. Let's just hold down the mode button, make sure that. The preset is highlighted, which it is. All the settings are in there. And then we've got the tuner on. Let's put the tuner on, make sure we're tuned in. The power wise, I'm running 10 watts. So we'll tune it in. 
And to select power, you just go function, and it's there, top left, just here, 10 watts. You can hear FTA coming through. We're going to go enable, and then as the, the bottom blue section here reaches the end, it will just start transmitting. When it does, look at your ALC. If it's a bit high, that's when you can go in and start changing your USB output, and I can, might be able to lower that a bit there. If it's too high, you get like a quite a messy signal. I still would like to know why I've got on the scope all these lines. Have I selected the wrong receive for the graph? You know, I, I don't. Too much. I very rarely use. Uh, very rarely use FTA. I haven't got anything wrong. I, don't, I like FTA. It's just I'm so busy with other things. I don't tend to use it that often. So I'll leave that running for a while. Keep an eye on your SWR as well. So tap the screen. Hit select SWR, just keep an eye on that. Mine looks okay. We'll have another look in a sec. It's funny how it gives you the choice of ALC or SWR, but really I want those are the two I want. I don't really want power. But anyway, it's still chugging away there. I'm sure we'll get a contact. And then of course you can rig this up to connect this up to is it rig uh, I think that is rig tracker, rig tracker, something like that, which I know works well. Thanks for watching my channel at 73. Catch you on air. All the best.